see that versus Lisa Bluger. We pick it up in the first quarter. I'm down three. Clark gets another handoff from Zagano. Hits the three. That two man game in between those two is really tough. This is really where we started seeing the refs uh, insert themselves a little bit. Reese gets called for reaching foul inside, and Kim just absolutely cannot believe it. Did you ask him how many times did the two come off his watch? It's like yes. four, right there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and one she one. Did, one. She hit the over right there. Uh, so Reese would be forced to sit out, but. No problem because Jasmine Carson ties. She may have been number two on her uniform, but she was red hot from the three. And then there, Caitlin Clark, she's looking to drive the ball to the offensive zone. That would send Clark to the bench with three fouls in the closing seconds of the first half. LSU at 14 now. Carson, again, key check. This oh. was crazy. I fell over this depth to see was going to have time. Are you kidding me? Have a day, Jasmine Carson. So LSU at 17 and a half. We knew it would be a tough comeback as no one's ever come back from down 17 in the title game. And here comes Caitlin Clark. Clark is one of those players that you could not leave your television set because you always thought as long as Clark was on the floor, you had a chance. This is where the internet went wild. You see that little Caitlin sort of toss the ball. Her and Monica Zana both called for fouls in the same play. Four fouls for both. Ottawa down 11, and you're starting to think, no, not sure that they're going to make that comeback, and they don't. LSU is the national champions. Here's Caitlin Clark post game. I think just the biggest thing is, you know, it's really, really special, and I don't think it's going to set in for me for quite some time. Well, I want my legacy to be the impact that I can have on young kids and the people of the state of Iowa. And I hope I brought them a lot of joy this season. I hope this team brought them a lot of joy. I understand we came up one win short, but I think we have a lot to be proud of and a lot to celebrate. Um, and I was just that young girl, so all you have to do is dream, and you can be in moments like this. Um, I'm just so proud of my team. I'm so proud of the women they are. I'm so proud of what they stand for. I'm, I'm, the Iowa fans that came here um, in droves, um, I'm so thankful for them. I'm, I'm thankful that I get to coach at a university like the University of Iowa, but I'm telling you, this is brutal. It's really tough to walk out of that locker room today and to not, you know, be able to coach Monica and McKenna ever again. You know, that, that's tough. Um, but I am very thankful for the season we had, and I don't want anything to take away from that. You know, we played the national championship game.